Good morning, everyone. I don't know why I feel like my camera recently, like everything that I record seems to look a little bit darker. I don't know if I just messed with some settings without noticing, but I need to really mess with it because I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I just came out of an orthodontics appointment. I'm doing the Invisalign. Today was just my follow-up appointment. I wanted to share a few updates with you guys today. Today is actually um, April 20th. So the plans for today, I had my appointment. So you can take that off the list. And now I am going to go buy some things for the baby. We're going to go to Bye Bye Baby and grab a little mattress for his bassinet. I have his bassinet. We just don't have the little mattress that goes with it. So I need to grab that. And then I wanted to look into the oxygen um the one that tracks like his oxygen while he sleeps. I really wanted to do this, um, what is it called? I have to look up the name. I forgot the name of the, of it. it's, like, it's like a little bassinet thing. It's really expensive, <laughs> but we were really honestly considering it just because I am just so paranoid. I am that person that is good for me not to know things because if I know them, I will think about them all the time. So I am like super, super concerned about all these things that can possibly happen to baby while they're sleeping. I'm really trying just to stay calm and pray and like, <sighs> but um, anyway, so we're ending up not doing that bassinet anymore. And we're going to go ahead and just do the little, what I've seen is the little oxygen tracker that they do like through the, through the foot. And they sell them there actually at Bye Bye Baby. So I'm probably going to check those out today. And let me know if you guys have tried those before and if it actually worked out for you. I need that peace of mind. If you're like me and we're anxious, like, tell me your tips because I'm new at this. What else are we doing today? We're going to be packing. We're packing today. So I'm going to try to do as much packing as we can. Uh, we are moving into a little tiny house. It's literally a small house. Um, it's a three bedroom, but one bedroom is like, doesn't it have doors? So I don't even know if that's considered a room. So I always say it's a two bedroom and just like an extra <laughs> living room area looking thing. <laughs> I will definitely make a whole video about that and introducing you guys to our new home. I'm really gonna miss the RV life because we've been doing it for like five years now. And I think that's just like our normal now. <laughs> We're just so used to being so close. Like everything is around us. The kitchen is right here. The bathroom is right here. The bedroom is right here. The dining room is right here. Like everything is... <laughs> in the tiny little area and now that you actually have to walk somewhere and get somewhere it's just like it's crazy it's like what do we do with all this space so i'm like i'm glad we're having kids and i'm glad that the kids are gonna be able to fill up those empty spaces in our home now and this is our temporary little home because uh, we are gonna look for a permanent place and we're really grateful that we're able to rent out this little home because that kind of gives us a little bit more time and plus babies they don't need much in the sense of like any anything fancy as long as they have the necessary things to live and that's kind of how we've been living our lives as you guys know it's just we don't go above more than what we need we just literally stay simple the simple life is like the best thing ever so i'm really gonna miss that <laughs> because now we actually have things to worry about. We had to one day worry about something, so I guess it's time to worry about life now. Anyways, that was, uh, let's go to Starbucks first. Let's do that, okay? Because I actually, I haven't an ate and I and it's already 10 and I should have ate something for baby. Baby is probably mad at me right now. While I'm driving, you guys want to see the baby. We did a 3D scan the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that clip here. So you guys watch that while I'm driving and I'm going to go get myself a coffee. You guys enjoy. Sorry, there's people around and I'm embarrassed. Anyways, so who do y'all think is going to look like? Me or Ellie? smells like babies in here. Why does it smell like a baby? It smells like baby lotion. So, what are we doing, you ask? We are going to see a 3D version of the baby, the child. Prophecy says he's gonna look like me, but we don't know yet. Prophecy? Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Hey guys, little belly. We are tomorrow. We will be 29 weeks pregnant. Today is Sunday, so every Monday it's another week. Can't believe it. We're already be 30 weeks in. That means. We are right here. And scoop the plate towards me. You're going to lift your shirt up. Okay. Have you had an ultrasound before? Yeah. So same premise, just the same thing we do for ultrasound, just gel and a probe, nothing to it really. Little, the little piquito on his lip, you see it? Oh, yeah. I don't know who he's gonna look like. I still can't tell. Yeah, I know. I definitely think he has your nose. Yeah. For sure. So what you're saying he's gonna look Arabic too. <laughs> well you don't you weren't born with that bump. You broke your nose, right? Right. So he's not gonna be born with the bump. So if you, we want him to look like me, we gotta break his nose. No. I think he looks like both of us. Both like of us mixed. Look, 
like he has um, like the round like big old cheeks that I was born with and that I still have and he has like your nose I don't know I have to put a picture here of what Alex looks like and what I look like it's like side to side and you can tell Alex's nose is like the same kind of nose that the baby had and he has a little piquito <laughs> my cousin calls it triceratops lips <laughs> <laughs> but it was really really cool. It was really nice and they gave us some like printout pictures of it But they're like the black and white version of the 3d one. So they look kind of funny Like it's hard to tell what they what that even is. So I can't wait to get the colored ones so you can see more Very excited. Very excited. Mm -hmm. Oh, his head is already down. He's ready. He's only seven months though My brother was born at seven months in one week He was a preemie so who knows maybe he wants to come at seven months too but i really want him to be fully cooked i want him to wait wait can you wait just a little bit two more months <sighs> why did i run out of breath so who do you guys think the baby's gonna look like <laughs> i seriously think it's gonna look like alex because i just feel like i see so much of alex and the baby already and it's just a little 3d ultrasound so i'm really excited to see what he's gonna look like real life so um, I got my coffee I'm almost done with it I actually had to stay there for a little bit and do some work catch up on emails catch up on invoices catch up on work so I'm almost done with it but this has been my favorite coffee lately a decaf iced grande caramel macchiato this is like the best decaf coffee or I don't know why but this is this just has been so yummy to me this is what I've been ordering and then I got myself a sandwich and now we're on our way to bye bye baby I love going to that store because I can just daydream of everything that I need <laughs> okay anyways let's go we have this one This is the one we got for our baby. This is the one that I like. It has so much room and so thick. These are the ones I was talking about. This one comes with the camera and then this one doesn't. It's just this, which I think I might just go with this one because I was gonna get another camera for that one. I literally just got off of work. So I, I look like a disaster. Hi guys. It is actually a completely different day, but I did not want to leave you guys hanging there. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I did get to buy at Bye Bye Baby and what we got that day. Um, that day ended up being super crazy. We did end up doing some packing um, and we are actually in our new home now, but I will show you guys around in a future video, soon coming up video. Um, but anyways, I did went ahead and grabbed the diaper bag that I wanted. Look how big it is. It is huge. I really like it. If you guys have this bag, please tell me how did it go? Did you like it? Because I've seen so many good reviews on it and um, I'm really excited to use it. I am not the type of person that like gets designer bags or anything like that, but I really wanted to get a good one for my little baby and for myself as well. It just as a little treat to myself as a we're mothers now. <laughs> I really like how big it is. I think that's mainly the, the thing that I liked about it because I already know myself. I'm going to try to over prepare <laughs> for any situation. So I think this is going to be good. This is going to be good. And um, I haven't taken it apart or anything. So I will, I guess I will check it out too and see how it goes. And maybe if you guys want to like a review, I'm, I'm sure there's tons of reviews out there on it. But if you guys want to know what I think of it let me know and i will let you guys know right now obviously i can't use it it's to its full potential because baby is still in here <laughs> but i'm excited to use it um and then i did end up getting the um it's called the dream sock award-winning technology 
a sock fit baby up to 30 pounds. Um, better sleep for the whole family. <laughs> Yay! Something that I was actually told my last prenatal appointment was that baby skips a heartbeat every once in a while and that it could be totally normal but I do have to go and get checked more often now because I just want to make sure that it is that it's getting better and that it's not something to be concerned about. She told me don't worry about it. She's like that's the last thing you want to do is worry about it. Um, it's very common but it's not normal if that makes sense. So she said that a lot of babies have it. What is that noise? I'm still learning all the, all the noises around here. I don't know what anyways that could have been a train no i don't know what was i saying oh that um a lot of babies do have it while they're in the womb but then it goes away after they're born so she said that could happen with my little baby um so we'll see i'm trying just to stay positive and plus my mother-in-law said that my husband was like that she's like that and i think her mom is like that so my little baby is just uh <laughs> got it from dad's side i guess and that's i'm just trying to stay positive and they're okay you know they're well and alive and healthy so <laughs> uh, i'm just really trying to stay positive but anyways we did end up getting the little sock again if you guys have tried this before please let me know if this was helpful for you and then i just got this little pacifier holder Passy pod it says here it does not go with the bag this doesn't go together but i just thought it was cute and this bag actually does come with its own it has its the one that's made for it but i kind of like this one and i kind of wanted to keep it like neutral colors because i don't want because i don't want it to look like a girly bag like i want it to look girly because it's mine but at the same time it's for my baby boy if that even matters to me it matters for some reason and then here's the crazy part so Bye Bye Baby has sister location, bed, bath, and beyond apparently. And um, I was trying to buy that mattress that goes in the bassinet of the baby and they don't have any. They told me to go to bed, bath, and beyond because apparently they had some in stock. Even though bed, bath, and beyond are, is not a baby store. It's like, a, it's like a house store where you can decorate. Oh my gosh, the baby's like... <laughs> He's swimming in there. So they showed me online. It said it was in stock. I drove kind of far because I was like, I really want to get this done. Like whenever I have a goal in my mind, like I have to get certain things done. I have to get it done or else I just like, I feel so like unaccomplished. So I drove to the store that they told me to go, Bed Bath & Beyond, wasn't close. I got there and i probably it was probably my fault i should have probably called ahead myself and been like hey you guys have this blah 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 instead of doing the drive but i didn't i got there and they were like um we don't carry any baby products here who sent you here and then i told her the whole i told him the whole story and he was like mm, no i don't know what you're talking about like we don't sell those here and then i showed him online it said that they had them in stock like the one that i wanted they had them in stock and he was like maybe it's just our online store but we don't carry any baby products here <sighs> my day was already kind of crazy and overwhelming and then on top of that i was like okay stay calm and i was just like okay no worries you know it's not the fault the guy i feel like he felt bad for me because i drove all this whole way and then i didn't even get what i wanted so he took me to his little office and he was like i'm gonna help you just purchase it online if that's okay i'm gonna do it for you like little things like that i'm just like thank you <laughs> i need help at that moment i was just so like oh <laughs> that that little thing was like a big thing to me so this is my mattress <laughs> it's gonna be delivered here one of the things actually was supposed to be delivered today hey i just thought about that and then the mattress is not gonna be delivered till next month but it's okay because baby won't be here till june at least that's what they tell me he can really I, I, he can just come whenever he wants but we'll just hope that um his little mattress is here <laughs> by the time he's here <laughs> so that was that day um i'm a lot calmer now i feel like life is really teaching me what motherhood is gonna bring soon because 
I feel like like what I mentioned the other day about us not having so many worries in our life and we've been living that way for kind of a long time and we're very spoiled in that sense I feel like lately I've been really feeling it and um, I'm gonna need you guys I'm gonna need all your advice <laughs> Alex and I have been married for six years this is gonna be a whole turn in our marriage not in our marriage like like between me and him but it's a whole turn in life like we're gonna have a child now so it's exciting but at the same time I'm I always wonder how is this gonna change us like we're gonna be so so different now <laughs> am I gonna be this happy that's what my mother-in-law said that I'm not gonna I'm gonna be a completely different person I'm gonna be Miss Grocery Lady no I'm just kidding I'm just gonna be my stressed out all the time lady anyways that is what we're doing i really look forward to showing you guys our little home it's a tiny house like i told you guys but it's enough um anything that's bigger than an rv it looks huge to me so i'm still trying to get used to the space today was actually the first day that i was here all by myself and it felt kind of weird but anyway do you guys want to see my little bump where we're at right now let me get on my knees this is our little bump right now I say little because I don't know why I feel like it's so little. I mean, I, I people tell me they're like, whoa, you're so small. And then some people they're like, whoa, you're so big. So it's like, I guess everybody just has their own opinions. What do you guys think? I'm 30 weeks. <laughs> when I say 30, that sounds like such, like so much, but really, uh, yeah, I, I guess I am pretty small. I need the baby. I think we're gonna wait till after he's born to introduce his name, just to kind of like um, introduce him as a whole. <laughs> But we're excited. His room is coming along. It's very empty, but I'm not I'm not too focused on that because he's not even gonna sleep there <laughs> anytime soon. He's gonna be with me. I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you so much for following along on my little life update. Love you guys and I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!